one and all, welcome to Seeing Through Glass. I can't quite believe I'm making this video. I think most of you know I am a massive Formula One fan, but not many of you know that I actually used to race many, many moons ago. When I was growing up, my only goal in life was to be a Formula One driver, so I went go-kart racing. I actually took part in a championship here in the UK called Formula TKM, and I even did a test drive in a single-seater, a Formula BMW. But due to lack of funds and probably more realistically lack of skill, that sort of dream, that goal disappeared. So over many, many years, I thought that I would never have the chance to drive a Formula One car or ever be a Formula One driver until about three years or so ago when I started this YouTube channel. And I thought maybe, just maybe, it would bring me closer to the sport that I loved. And this year, that has happened. You may have seen that at the beginning of the summer, I announced that I'm gonna be working with Infinity around their Formula One partnership with the Renault F1 team. Well, today, unbelievably, unbelievably, Infinity are facilitating me driving a Formula One car. Yes, that's the first time I've said it out loud because I've been so nervous to admit it to myself just in case something horrific happened like rain or the car caught fire or there wasn't a helmet that would fit my head. But apparently today it's going to happen. Right now I'm in the south of France in an Infiniti Q50S hybrid driving to the Paul Ricard circuit where I will be getting in a 2012 Formula One car and driving it, driving it on track. The seven year old inside of me who, whose only goal in life was to drive an F1 car is literally jumping for joy. I mean, I am jumping for joy. How is this happening? Just a reminder to any of you that haven't seen my previous content with Infinity, their partnership with the Renault F1 team is all around the development of the hybrid systems. So it was quite fitting that I was driving to the track in the Q50S hybrid. The systems in that car aren't just there to help with fuel economy and emissions, they're actually helping with performance and driver enjoyment too. They increase the low end torque so you get maximum acceleration just like in F1. The Q50S was at one point the fastest hybrid saloon car on the market, doing 0 to 60 in 5 seconds whilst bathing you in all the comfort and technology you would expect from a car in its class. It is very sedate in here, it is very relaxed, which is probably a nice calming place for me because in a few hours I'm going to be in one of the most ballistic, raw, aggressive, automotive spaces ever. Oh, that's one of the other cars on the walkie-talkie, probably telling me to get on and get to the track because there's a Formula One car there waiting for me to drive it. How is this a thing? Anyway, onwards to the circuit. Let's catch up. I have spent the morning behind the wheel of a Formula 4 car. So this is a sort of preparation or practice for what is to come this afternoon. I still can't quite bring myself to say the words, I will be driving an F1 car. There we go, I just said it. That's, the, that's not the first time, but uh, it just doesn't feel real. But anyway, driving a Formula, War, Formula 4 car has made it feel a bit more real. Um, the last time I drove a single seater was probably like five or six years ago at some awful sort of pay for experience that I think I either bought myself for my birthday or maybe somebody else bought for me for my birthday. And it wasn't exactly that exhilarating. This has been ridiculous. Uh, it's like no other kind of driving experience. Being on track in the first place is always awesome. But being in a single seater, is, it's, I'm gonna use a very complicated word here, visceral. I'm not really sure I know what that word means, but it, that sums up the experience quite well. Uh, things vibrate, you've never felt vibrate in your life. Uh, your sort of ears are moving, like it's just hard to get a grip of what's going on. 
the brake pedal is so heavy, like so stiff, you really have to like slam on the brake pedal as if it was a leg press in a gym. Not that I'm too familiar with that bit of equipment. Anyway, all of that has been leading up to what is about to happen. My experience behind the wheel of an F1 car. I am, I am pinching myself. Um, I've had quite a few hours to come to terms with it. And yeah, it's mind blowing. Uh, I'm not really sure how to prepare for it. Um, I think I'm gonna be more overwhelmed emotionally than physically. Uh, a lot of people saying the brakes are mad and the grip is insane. Um, but I just think the actual act of stepping into a Formula One car and driving it on track is gonna be, yeah, a bit too much. Anyway, I'm trying to take this very zen moment up here on the balcony and be at peace with myself and be calm. Cause I know the minute I go downstairs, I'm gonna be freaking out. Let's go.
Oh my god, I can't. Whoa. Mate, not just good, like nothing I've ever experienced. Like when it pulls, when it goes. I broke it. <laughs> I broke it. Oh, How happy did you like it? Mate, it didn't just like it. I mean, honestly. It's, once in your life. But you know what? Once in your life. But towards the end, I'm like, I'm really good at this. I'm like, oh, this is cool. It's easy, Jack. What are you on about, mate? The last few laps, I was like, yeah. <laughs> um, whoa. Oh, it's it on the straight. That was good. Oh, yeah. You got to that corner. That I couldn't see anything. I broke for that corner. And I was like, whoa. whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it's there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I think, I think I've stopped shaking. I have had a chance to just chill out for a second, but for a good hour there, I, I, oh, actually, I, ha I know I haven't chilled out. I still don't know what to say. I don't know how to describe what I have just done. I have completed a lifelong dream. Seven-year-old Sam has, like, life is complete. Life is, I mean, 29-year-old depressingly Sam, life is still complete. Where do I go from here, ladies and gentlemen? Where do I go from here? Now, I, I, I did try and record that drive point of view. The point of view glasses ran out of battery before I'd even left the garage. I did try to record audio, uh, but I think the microphone might have turned itself off in my pocket because it's a Formula One car and they're not really designed for microphones. So I didn't capture the drive as much as I would have liked, um, but I don't really care if I'm really honest. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, but that was a truly once in a lifetime experience. Thank you so much to these, these heroes, Infinity. I'm indebted to them for the rest of my life. Lots of Infinity content to come because I just owe them the biggest thank you ever. Um, but yeah, to recap, in case you missed it, uh, I, I did sort of kind of break the car. Uh, basically, on the first lap, I didn't feel like I was pushing the brakes hard enough. Uh, and into the final few corners, I slammed on the brakes. And I was like, I'm still not pushing them hard enough. Went into the very last corner, slammed as hard as I could, locked the front wheels, and the revs dropped so low that the car kicked into anti-stalls. So, a bit of a fail on my part there. Um, but luckily, the guy sent me out for another couple of laps. And... Yeah, I mean, I, I will be talking about this more in a podcast. I'll go into deep detail as to what it's actually like to drive an F1 car. Um, but my immediate takeaways are the acceleration is like nothing I've ever experienced before in my life. It's alien-esque. I mean, the forces on your body when you accelerate are nuts. When you hit the brakes, my maximum brake pressure was 45%. I submarined into the actual car. Like, my whole head... I couldn't see a thing. Like, it was awful. And that was 45% brake pressure. Turning and the dynamics actually not I thought it was gonna be a lot more twitchy I'm fully aware that this car is a slightly babyified or, or, or nannyified version of a real F1 car you only run six out of seven gears a few less thousand rpm on the top end but I maxed out at 260 kilometers hour on the back straight which is where the car was limited today so I think that was that one. It's been great to check out the Q50S hybrid and in fact my next stop with Infinity is the Paris Motor Show where there's an even more exciting, actually an incredibly exciting new thing coming from Infinity. If you're not going to be at the Paris Motor Show, there is a Facebook Live that they're doing around this exciting new thing. Uh, I'll put the link to that below so you can sign up and get ready for it. But yes, I mean, I need to go and lie down. I, need to, I mean, I just need to watch back footage. How am I ever... This. Um, Anyway, thank you so much all for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, make sure to hit subscribe. I'm not going to say for plenty more F1 driving videos because that's never going to happen again, is it? Unless I become a billionaire and join a, I don't know, race team or buy a race team. I've got an idea now. I'm going to buy a race team. Okay, see you soon. Bye.